At uh, this time, uh, before we dismiss you with our last song, uh, is the kind one, the response of the clerk. Would, uh, this time, if the Reverend Timothy Jones would come up and just tell us, not a sermon, but a Never, this was never my idea. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Especially after the messages this morning. <laughs> I didn't want to go to Brazil. It was the last thing I wanted to do. I never wanted to go to Mexico. It was the last thing I wanted to do. Uh, but God called me and affirmed the calling that came uh, not from me. Uh, I didn't know what Mark was going to speak on today, I didn't know what Michael was going to hit on today, uh, but I've been thinking a lot about fear. I've um, been thinking a lot about suffering. I've been thinking a lot about uh, not the straight line, <laughs> that crooked line. And it kind of hit me a couple weeks ago that um, there's fear in the temporary. We fear in the things that uh, uh, in the circumstantial because they will not last and we should fear those things um, but when we're talking about today um, what I'm being called to what uh, the call on our lives is is a call to the eternal in fact I think the only fear that we should ever have is not knowing the eternal that should be the fear that we have but praise God. The Apostle John says, You did not choose me, but I chose you, the words of Jesus, and I appointed you to go bear fruit, fruit that will last. Fruit that will last. So much in this world uh, will pass away. And praise God, we pay, pray we'll be redeemed. Uh, but we have been called as Mark share with us to the eternal calling, to the things that will last, the roles that we've been called to as apostles and prophets and evangelists and teachers to the things that will last. And I am humbled to be called along with you. And I could go through this room and name person after person that has the call of God on their lives and are redeeming this world for love and light and life in the name of Jesus. I just want to point out my sister who, uh, it was not their idea, but they just planted a church, her and her husband, a month ago in gold, and they are worshiping this morning. So, as I am affirmed, I want to affirm you. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love. There is nothing to fear if we step into the calling that God has placed on each one of our lives. 
into the call of love. To be love, to not fear love, but to know love, capital love, and his name is Jesus Christ. I'm so honored, uh, I'm so humbled, I am so blessed to be affirmed and called and celebrated by my new All Saints family, my Malibu Press family, my blood family. And I pray that all honor, all glory, that people see love, that people see Jesus through my life. I pray that people see love and life and hope and the new world to come through your lives. Amen. Yeah.